Hey guys, this is part one of a four-part series on building your deadlift and your traps using non-conventional, different, fun, excruciatingly torturous ways of doing shrugs and deadlift variations, etc. If you are a deadlift freak and a trap freak, stick around for this four-part series. I love the deadlift. I love working my traps, so I'm going to give you some devious workouts, some fun and challenging workouts, and this is part one of that series. Before I get into this topic, guys, I encourage you to check out my new book called Massive Iron. Massive Iron is linked below. It contains 200 pages of content. Not only do I give you 20 workouts that are extremely effective, but I also give you a, a whole toolbox of tools and tips that will help you maximize any workout system out there, from magazine workouts to whatever. So guys, please support my channel and check out Massive Iron, link below. So again, this is a four-part series on building your deadlifts and your traps using different types of area, or excuse me, different types of exercise variations fun and challenging ways to approach your deadlift and trap training. So let's get on to it. The first workout, and I should let you know before we dive in, that all these workouts are linked below. There's an article that contains all four of them, so check that out if you want more information. The first workout variation I call high tugs and power shrugs. You're going to set up in a squat rack. Or if you have blocks, you can use those as well. The bar is going to be right about knee level or just, you know, maybe an inch above knee level. That's as high, that's, you know, as is, uh, is, um, low as you want it. You're going to work up using a percentage of your one rep max. You're going to do five warm-up sets. And then you're going to do three working sets of high rack pulls, okay? You're going to do high rack pulls first and then you're going to move on to power shrugs. Here's how your warm-up sets work. Again, you're going to do five warm-up sets before you get to your working sets. Again, these are high pulls, high pulls at knee level. First set is 40% of your one rep max for five reps. Second set is 50% of your one rep max for five uh, reps. Third set is 60% of your one rep max for three reps. Your fourth warm-up set is 70% of your deadlift one rep max for one rep, and your fifth warm-up set is 80% of your deadlift one rep max for one rep. So those are your five warm-up sets. Just to repeat, you're gonna set the bar up at knee level, and you're gonna be doing high rack pulls. These numbers are based off your floor deadlift one rep max. Um, you start with 40% by 5 reps, 50% of your max by 5 reps, 60% of your max by 3 reps, 70% of your max by 1 rep, 80% of your max by 1 rep. Then you move on to your working sets. Three working sets of 3 to 5 reps using 90% of your deadlift 1 rep max. So again, your working sets are 3 sets of 3 to 5 reps using 90% of your floor deadlift 1 rep max. When you can do five reps for all three of these sets, you go into the gym and add five pounds the next time you perform high rack pulls. Now, following, um, following this, you're going to move on to power shrugs. Now, power shrugs are just not some mind-muscle connection shrug. They're explosive. You're going to grab onto the bar. You want to use straps because you're not testing your grip here. You're trying to build some serious trap mass. So strap up, grab the bar, and you're going to be power shrugging. You're going to be exploding that bar up with all you can. Um, you're going to do five sets of power shrugs, okay? You're going to leave your working weight from your uh, rack pulls on the bar as you move on to power shrugs. So um, your working weight is, uh, you're going to start, let me just pull this up here, guys, because I got my... Uh, um, I got my information here on the computer, sorry. Your first set, you're going to do as many power shrugs as possible using the working weight you use for high rack pulls, okay? First set, as many reps as possible using that working weight you use for high rack pulls. So you're going to rack pull, and you're going to power shrug for as many reps as you can. Okay, your second set on, on uh, power shrugs, you're going to drop the weight for 10%, and you're going to perform as many reps as possible again. You're going to repeat this pattern for your third set of power shrugs, drop the weight another 10% for max reps, fourth set, drop the weight another 10%, 
and you're going to perform it for max reps and your fifth um, power power shrug set you're going to drop the weight another 10 percent and perform it for max reps so let me repeat the power shrug protocol you're going to do five sets you're going to start with your working weight on rack pulls so you're going to rack pull that weight up and you're going to do that weight for as many power shrug reps as possible your second set you're going to drop 10% in weight and do that for as many power shrug reps as possible. And you're going to repeat this pattern. Drop another 10% for your third set. Drop another 10% for your fourth set. Drop another 10% for your fifth set. All these sets for, are for as many reps as possible. So that's the combination, guys. Again, I call it high tugs and power shrugs. It's linked below. You can read the full write-up. You start with high rack pulls and you finish off with a whole heaping helping big body trap blowing blasting all that kind of crazy alliteration you finish off by destroying your traps this is an excellent excellent workout variation it'll build not only your traps it'll build help you build a bigger deadlift help you build uh, more lockout strength and it'll help you build that upper back as well you'll get accustomed to pulling that heavy ass weight off the ground and holding that heavy ass weight in your hands which i am a firm believer of so guys i hope this video has been of some help please check out my new book called massive iron again massive iron is linked below massive iron is not just your average muscle building book it is a book that helps you maximize every set, helps you maximize every workout, and helps you maximize your progress. No fluff. I guarantee this book will help you out. So, guys, as always, thanks for watching. Have a great day.